Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be of some super cute pride nails I did the other day. I will give you some info on what I used to create these nails and then I'll let you watch a bit before I let you know what else is going on towards the end. So step one, you need some colors. The colors I use in this manicure are replicating pride flags from different LGBT communities. Last weekend was Vancouver's pride and my client wanted to rock a super cute mani to show their pride. Use colors that are super pigmented and meant for art so you don't have to do a second coat of color. I mean, you can do a second coat if necessary. I didn't want to, I just used really good gel. Step two, you need a liner brush. The brush I use for almost everything detail related is a Nail Partner Mana Nails Art Brush. I'll leave a link below. What I do for the first nail is what I do for all of the nails. I'm doing a U shape of every color and the most important part would be to make sure you have enough space for all the colors you want to use. I do this by visualizing in my head how I want the nails to look and then I eyeball it. You can of course break down the nail art on a piece of paper, but I was feeling pretty confident and did it this way. Now this is where the brush comes in handy. I use this brush because it has kind of stiff bristles and it makes a nice crisp line. I also flash cure a few seconds in between each color to make sure I don't mix any of the colors together. You can use another brush, but I find the longer bristle liner brushes are better to hold more product and make the manicure faster.
after you've done all 10 nails, cure for 30 seconds. Next step, I mix some iridescent glitter from Young Nails into a soak off builder gel and I coated each nail making sure to even out any unevenness and then I cure it for 30 seconds. On the thumbs, my client wanted a two-spirit pride flag. So I wiped off the tacky layer of the nail and I googled an image I thought looked best for this. And I drew the feathers in white first, and then I cured it for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with my liner brush and black paint and I'm just outlining the details of the feathers. I think it looks so cute. Cure it for 30 seconds when you're happy with the design. Top coat with your favorite top coat and then you're done. You can use any colors to achieve this style of Manny, but the pride flag design makes me so happy. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for tuning in and hope you all had a safe and happy pride this year. Subscribe and hit my bell notification if you'd like to see more videos I make and add me on Instagram for more of my work. Thanks for watching. Bye.